Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will see how to stop or start MySQL server or service on Windows system. So I have a MySQL instance which is running on the Windows system and uh, the requirement is I have to stop it due to some reason or I have to, let's say I have to make some changes in my.cnf and because of that, I need to stop the MySQL service. So, so before stopping it, uh, how do we validate it? Uh, like it is working or not? Let's say I do not have the privilege of uh, checking uh, whether service is running or not or if I am on a remote system. So what I do is uh, uh, I should have a valid user ID and password. In this case I have the root user since I don't have any other user so I'm going to use it root user which is which has the privilege to connect on only through the local host. So let me connect it through it. So I'll just say mysql hyphen u hyphen uh, root hyphen p and the password is uh, this one. I'll just copy and paste the password. So you can see I'm uh, connected. This is one of the way uh, to connect. Uh, let's say in case I do not have the privilege of uh, of uh, checking services dot msc and uh, I have another tool which is uh, uh, which is MySQL Workbench. So let me start that, and I'll connect to that. Let me close it out, and I'm going to start a MySQL Workbench, and uh, I will try to log in it through root and uh, and. Uh, and this is uh, this is a configuration uh, login configuration uh, and if i just click it we have seen in uh, another video like how to create the connection with the uh, with mysql workbench to a server which is running locally or remotely so let me feed in the password through the workbench so uh, so workbench is uh, just a gui tool to access your mysql server So you can see um, I'm logged in and if you go to the home or oh, let me see the connection this is the administration page and on the administration page we will go to server status which is on the extreme left so it is just refreshing the page so if I just if I move it towards the right uh, let me remove this completely You can see uh, localhost underscore root underscore connection that we have seen in another uh, uh, tutorial. And you can see I'm connected to the localhost. If I just say refresh, the server status is running. CPU is 92% or 53% uh, loaded. And this is all the detail over here. So uh, using the command mode and using the uh, GUI mode, we have checked that it is running. Let, let's let's check the, uh, the the privileged way of checking it. So uh, what you have to do is um, in, in your run window, you just have to say services.msc and your uh, service page will open over here and then uh, locate your MySQL service. So I have MySQL 8.0 installed. So it will appear as MySQL 8.0 and the status is running just you right click that and it go to the properties you can see that uh, mysql as of now is in running status and due to some reason if you have to stop just say stop and it will stop the service the service has been stopped and now if you try to log in it will not allow you to log in it will throw some some error so let me check that error as well for you Cannot connect to MySQL server on localhost. So this is the error I am getting, and uh, this is the work branch through which I was connected, but I have stopped the service, so I should not be able to see the status as running. So if I simply say refresh, the status must have changed. So you can see that the server status has gone to stopped. That means service has been stopped. And if you see the service in services.msc you will not see the status as running. So what I have to do is to start the service again, 
just do the right click properties and just say start or simply you can uh, do uh, start from here as well so it is going to start the service so once the service is started you should be able to log in through the uh, root user or some other user which is privileged to log into the mysql instance so let us check with the mysql workbench so i'll simply say refresh because uh, this uh, session has been opened uh, sometimes back when the server was running then we stopped it then again we have started it so if i just simply say uh, let me feed in the password mysql So you can see the server status has changed to running now and uh, if you try to log in through the command prompt also you should be able to do that so in this video we have seen how to stop and start the mysql service when it is running on a windows system please make sure if you have multiple instances you stop the right service by checking the services.msc and you stop the right service let's say if you have to do the uh, to the some kind of modification only on uh, one mysql instance i hope this is going to help thanks and thanks for watching